Hello and welcome back to Teachers Helpers videos. This video is designed to help students, teachers, and parents understand the process of how to find, locate, and plot decimals on a number line. By the end of this video, you will be able to find decimal numbers like this on a number line. Before we get started, please give this video a like and comment below and please subscribe to this channel if this is your first time here. I want to thank you for watching my video and let's get started. Before we get started, let's look at a few vocabulary words that are very important for this lesson. Decimals are numbers that are in between a whole number, such as this number here, 34.7. Our next word is number line. A number line is a visual way to represent numbers from increasing to decreasing in value. As you can see, this shows a number line, which is a horizontal line from left to right. And on this number line, you have zero to one with dashes in the middle. The dashes represents the numbers or decimals between the digits zero and one. The last thing we need to review is place value. The decimals that we will talk about today are in the tenths, hundredths, and thousandths place. These words have a THS at the end and are quite different from tens, hundreds, and thousandths. We write a decimal number with a point in the front and the decimal digits to the right of the period or point. The correct way to read this decimal number is 8.745. Looking at our place value chart, there are eight ones, seven tenths with a THS at the end, four hundredths, and five thousandths. Now that we have reviewed and understand the vocabulary, let's take a look at our first number line and use these decimal numbers to plot on the number line. Our number line has a zero and a one. We can add more numbers, but that is not necessary to plot numbers that are less than one. Now what we're gonna do is find the halfway mark, which is 0.5 so that it makes it easy to narrow down where these numbers should be placed on the number line. Since the dashes have been given to us, there are nine dashes between zero and one. So 0.5 is located here, right here in the middle. I counted the number of dashes and five is in the middle. Now 0.85, our first um, example, is bigger than 0.5. So should we go to the left or right side of 0.5? If you said to the right, you are correct. It is bigger than 0.5 because of the digit eight. Now, if you want to learn more about place value with decimals, go ahead and check out this video above or wait until this video is over to take a look at that. So we can count up to 0.5, we have 0.6, 0.7 and 0.8. The next digit is five, so we would be located right here in the middle of 0.8 and 0.9. Let's place 0.85 here. Our next decimal number is 0.23. This number is between zero and 0.5. Let's count the dashes. We have 0.1, 0.2, so our number has two tenths and three hundredths. So it's just slightly before the halfway mark of 0.2 and 0.3. As you can see, we take digit by digit to place the decimal numbers. Our last number is 0.459. Try to figure out where this is located. If you set to the left of 0.5, you are correct which is the halfway mark. Look for the 0.4 mark and our number is slightly before the middle of 0.4 and 0.5 because 0.459 is slightly smaller than 0.5. 
Okay, let's try this example. You can pause the video to try to figure out where the decimal number should be located. We have a number line that measures from 2.8 to 3.0. Plot these decimal numbers on the number line, 2.86, 2.82, and 2.89. This number line tells me that there are nine dashes between 2.8 and 3.0. To find our examples, we will be counting up by the hundredths place. You can either pause the video or watch how I place the digits on the number line. Okay, if you have a number line close to this, then you are correct. Did you find the halfway point on this number line? and plot the numbers afterwards? This is the best way to figure out where the numbers are located. Using the same number line, let's add another digit to these numbers. Where would 2.867 be located? 2.823 and 2.899. You see that we added one more digit in the thousandths place. So 2.867 is between 2.86 and 2.87. The seven in the thousands place is greater than the halfway mark, so it should be closer to 2.87. So 2.867 is about right here. So now that you know how to do that, I want you to try the other two examples of 2.823 and 2.899. You can either pause the video or check your answers with me in a second. Thank you for watching my video again today and please uh, feel free to comment below on some video ideas that you're interested in and check out my TPT store which has all of the vocabulary words that are listed in this resource. Um, the link will be in the description. Thank you so much for watching my video today and I hope to see you again on the next one. Bye!